Hi, my name is Adam Havrilla and I would like to welcome you back. It is April, all about entertaining, those brunches, those lunches, those dinners. It's about spring and about happiness and we're gonna turn this bouquet into the perfect accent for your next event. It is April and it is all about the brunches. Everybody does brunch, everybody loves brunch. It's, it's not new, we just love to celebrate it. So we're gonna celebrate brunch by having a beautiful table setting. I love going to craft stores and just seeing the different textiles they have, ribbons. And I saw this and I bought it not knowing what I was gonna do with it. And to be quite honest with you, I was going through the closet and found them, so I'm like, this will work perfect for April. It's a little vintagey. It has some uh, flair to it. It has some volume with the, with the fringe. So this is what we're gonna do with our vases. So take your double stick tape. We want it to go all the way around at the top of the vessel. It doesn't have to be super perfect. And I'll be honest with you, when I've been doing this, if it's not super perfect and it has a little bit of an air bubble there, it makes it so much easier to come off. And then we're gonna take our textile, our ribbon. We're just gonna put it onto the double stick tape all the way around. And that is literally all you have to do. And look how dressed up that looks. It took from a regular vase and you just amplified it. And then you end up having three vases like this. The bigger one, I did a double layer. So I put a piece of tape down below and I double layered that just to give it a little bit more volume, a little bit more fluff. And then we're gonna do two of the vases side by side. This is about a five inch tall base. These are four inch. I just like the height differences. You can certainly do all the same size or all different, but I think it looks really good this way. And I do want to point out, if you were to only do three bases, this is odd, right? You want to make sure that the height is in the middle and it's flanked by the two smaller ones. So that is our bases. Super easy, but impactful. So as we do with all of our designs, we separate our bouquet so we know what flowers we have to work with. And this bouquet has a lot of beautiful pink and green floral. And this would be great for when you're hosting your brunch. When people come over and they see they're like, oh, it's so beautiful. And you could say, yes, I know. I did it all myself. One of those moments, right? All right, let's start with our biggest flower, which is our lily. And we're gonna put it right into the center vase. If your lily comes closed, leave enough space for it to actually open. Do you see how much space that that takes? Then we have our beautiful mini hydrangea. And we're gonna cut these short, and we're gonna put one on either side. When you do hydrangea, you'll notice that I cut it at an angle. They need lots of water, so if you cut it by an angle, then it absorbs quicker, and it keeps it hydrated, so it keeps it fresh for you. Next biggest is our Ostromeria blooms. And let's put these on the side next to the hydrangea. And these are gonna open up beautifully, already are. And let's take our green Fuji mum, take the foliage off, and let's put it on the other side of the lily, because now you have this green coming all the way through, it's cohesive. And our Guerrero daisy, you could take the straw off, you don't need to keep it on there. And let's put that in the big one. So this is what we would consider the focal arrangement, and these are the satellites. So the focal gets a lot more of the floral than the satellites do just the way design works. Our roses. 
I'm gonna put them into the vocal arrangement. I just think it looks so pretty. There. And we have two of our dianthus. So I'm gonna take one, put it over in this satellite, and I'm gonna take the other, put it here. Next we have our color enhanced ruscus. And so we're just gonna cut this in two, so we have two pieces. If I can get in there. And we know we want to bring the pink into here, so let's put it next to the Ostromeria to get that pop of pink that we're so needing. How cute is that? And then let's put a couple of them up in here. We can do one opposite of the lily. We can do one right out the center. And next we have our Lepidium. Love this. This is very gardeny. It's very boho like the fringe. So we're gonna cut this and we're just gonna put this in here and we're just gonna let it come up a little bit. We're gonna let it dance up. And it'll have these cute little white blooms on it when it opens up. But how great is this? For brunch, even for if you were doing a shower, a baby shower, a wedding shower, this is the cutest way to make a beautiful impact. And again, all we did is we took our gorgeous bouquet, we broke it down like we have every month, and then we just enhanced these vessels and then we have this beautiful setup. So, what do you think? Colors go through, we have some volume with the fringe. Even if you wanted to, you could take some more of this and wrap it around the table, create some more design. There's so much you can do. You can even wrap this into a napkin, tie a napkin off. How cute would that be on the table? So many possibilities. But this is our design. I hope you enjoy it. I can't wait for you to do it for your brunch, for your friends, or even for your house. So when you walk into the room, you see it yourself. Enjoy. I love spending time with you. And remember to like and subscribe, comment below, and we will see you next time.